This is just a quick video showing you how to solve the puzzle in the Snow Point City Gym. Now, since uh, this is going to go pretty fast, I'm going to have a version of getting through here uh, slowed down, so you'll be able to see it fast. And rather than trying to explain everything, at least in this version, the, the quick one, the normal speed, I'm just going to let you kind of watch and see how it works. Because, you know, that's sometimes the best way, especially when, you know, you're dealing with sliding around, just, you know, kind of watch and see see how I get through it, so then you know, oh, okay, well, that's how he got through it, so it must work, right? Uh, it's important to make sure, however you do this, that, you know, the snowballs in the middle are broken. This one here, where you slip and slide across from that point up on the uh, highest level, that's a pretty important one. Because, you know, you gotta go back and forth. Uh, let's see. You gotta really go all around this gym. Hmm. Slide down here. And then... Up here. And whoop. And that lets us break those two in the middle there. And voila! That is how we get through it. So you make your way to the corner down here, which is how you should always get out of this place from, and just go right down the middle. Ta-da! Candace! Now, just in case that was a little fast for you, here is a slowed down version. See, you want to break those three snowballs first, then slide to the right, so you're on that snow, walk down a step, and then slide to the left, so you slide over to the other side. Now, slide up, and then to the left, and then south, and right down to that snowball, and then to the right, so you break the one leading up to Candace. Now from there, you can walk up the stairs and slide back over to where you were, because you still need to be over up here in order to break some more. Now slide back to that patch of snow, except this time go over near the trainer. You actually need to go right up against the trainer and that one, but then slide down and to the right to break uh, two in the middle bit. Now to get out of here, uh, let's take the top left or the top right corner and move up and to the right up those stairs. But now you slide to the left and then to the left a little bit more because we actually want to get back to the. Uh, back down to the main entrance, the main area where we came in from, sort of, roughly. So from there, you move up and then slide across so you're on the, the right side again from that point, and then move south one step and then back left so you break the ball, the snowball in the, uh, blocking the stairs. Now move back to the corner and move up the stairs and then slide and slide a little bit more so you're on the snowball there and then slide to the right so then you break another one blocking the stairs now slide up up and uh, right to the corner and now let's see um, you slide south back down here to the south uh, south right south eastern corner and right up to this one here. Now let me think. Um, then slide up. So you're up against the other side here. Move to the left one and slide back down and slide to the left when you're on the snow there. That'll break two of the snowballs in the middle sector. So there's just that one there left. So move up the stairs and then go up one and then you'll be able to slide and break that final snowball. Now, make your way left and south, or south and left and south and west, and get out of there, like I've showed you. You just slip and slide until you're back out, right near the entrance. And from the entrance, after you've broken all the snowballs, you just walk down the stairs, slip, slide, and you will be able to reach Candace and battle her for your 7th badge.